In this video, we're going to calculate how much it costs to become a competitive figure skater in the US and compare it to how much it would be to do the same thing in Russia. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's been a long time. <laughs> we haven't seen you guys since last week. We missed you. <laughs> welcome back and welcome if you're new. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with our next videos. Click the bell button and welcome, we're happy to have you! We've been skating a little bit over 5 months now, so it's finally time to put our skating skills to the test. Literally. <laughs> so you or your child has decided to start competing. Sounds easy enough, you just find the nearest competition, sign up and start getting ready, right? Nope. First you need to pass a test to compete at that level. This is about where we are right now. We're preparing to do our first test, getting our moves ready, getting all that stuff set up. But to do a test, you can just find test, register and do the whole thing. There's another first. Before you even do any of that, you need to register with your local ice skating club and get a membership number from the US Figure Skating Federation. We got this stuff. This is membership number. Yours is this one. Membership registration is now open. 2021. What is this for? If you don't want to volunteer, you can uh, buy your freedom for 50 bucks. How much are the tests? And we'll find out on <laughs> the next page. That's it, guys. We're out of the shadows. For us, in our case, we skate in Central Florida. So the cost is $100 per adult per year. And if you're under 20, you pay $136. After you register, every test costs between $20 and $40. And once you pass it, a competition fee is gonna run you between $135 to $150 for a small local event. So to add it all up, you'll pay $290 just in fees to get to your first competition. Additionally, you have to pay for your costumes and for your coach's fees so they can go with you. Plus, if the, the competition is out of town, you'll have to cover your coach's traveling and accommodation expenses. Now, just for fun and to put things into perspective, we talked to our friend Daria, who lives in St. Petersburg, Russia, and skates herself as an adult skater, as well as has her kids in the figure skating program. If we skate in Russia, we will need to pass any tests because there are no tests for adults. Plus, we will need to be part of any club. So our only cost would be 4,000 rubles in competition fees, which equals to 54 US dollars. And all the coaches' expenses, if the competition is out of town, would be covered by our local club or the federation. So we wouldn't have to cover any of it. Now that we're done with the fees, let's talk about the training. So it took us about five months since the first day of skating up to the testing date. We usually spend about $125 per month, which covers our ice time and one weekly group class. On top of that, we take one semi-private lesson weekly for our moves in the field, which costs $15 per person. And we take about one private every other week, which is about $50 that we split. So that's a total of $235 per month per person. So multiply by five in the entire time, each of us spend $1,175 or 2,350 combined. A lot of money. <laughs> Note that we practice in public sessions. The more advanced skaters will have to pay about $16 per hour to do a freestyle session that has less people so that they can do their more advanced jumps, run their programs and all that fun stuff. We technically only pay $12 for a three hour session right now. So that adds up pretty quickly. For comparison, in Russia, we would only pay an equivalent of five to seven US dollars for a freestyle session. And a private lesson would only cost us about $20. Younger skaters in Russia though do have to belong to a club in order to compete and they would pay an approximate equivalent of $245 per month to train, which includes four on-ice sessions and four off-ice sessions with a coach. On top of that, they would pay for their additional practice time on ice or their additional private lessons, which are about the same cost as I just named for adults. However, 
If you skate at a government-sponsored ice rink, the ice time is free. Daria told us that it's pretty limited though and kind of hard to come by, but the fact is it's there. For tests, the younger skaters in Russia just basically skate their short program. And the funny difference that we found is unlike the US, where once you pass a test, it lasts you for the rest of your life, you never have to do it again. Testing in Russia only gives you a pass to compete for one season. Next season, you have to pass it all over again. So you can imagine how upset some of the skaters were when the lockdowns happened for the entire season right after they passed their tests. So after comparing both, in the end, skating in Russia is a little cheaper than skating in the US. Some things are more expensive, some things are cheaper, but the ultimate total would be like cheaper to skate in, in Russia. We specifically did not include any costs for equipment like your skates, blades, training attire, costumes because this can vary drastically based on your personal preference. So for this video we decided to focus on just the fees and the mandatory costs. We found it interesting and fun to compare all the costs between the two countries. Hopefully you found it interesting too. Don't forget to subscribe guys and uh, we'll see you next week.